quick video on using Google SketchUp to create designs that can be cut out with your MakerMade CNC. Two quick notes before we get started. The first note is you will need a paid version of Google SketchUp. The SketchUp Shop version works great and it's 119 a year. That's the version I'm using here. The second is you do not need ESL Pro to convert your G-code. I just use the sample free software that is out there and that works just fine for my requirements. So let's get started. Here I have some simple base cabinets with finger joints for easy fit up and gluing. Step one is to get rid of any three dimensional components that you may have in your, your, your view here. The first is to delete those. Once you delete those I have my two dimensional components here for all the sides of the cabinets. And now I want to look at it from a z-axis view or a 2D view. So I click over here on scenes, go to the top view. Once I have that top view, I then go over here to the menu. I go to export and I go to DXF and I go to 2D download. Once you go to 2D download, it's going to ask you if you can save your model first. I click on save. And then it will prepare my model with all of the functionality for exporting. Here I look at it to make sure I have a full scale one to one. I leave all the other settings and I click export. During the export process, the model is uploaded to the cloud and the export starts. You'll see a green bar pops up on the top whenever the model has been converted and it is ready for your download. You click download. Once the download is complete, I take the DXF 2D flat file I have and I put it into another file on my desktop. Once I have that file downloaded on my desktop, I then go to ESL. I create a new project in ESL and to download that, upload that DXF file into ESL, there is a simple conversion method. Right here in the apps, you can click on the apps button, scroll all the way down here to the bottom, and there's a DXF import. You click on the DXF import and you upload the file you want to convert. You choose the file accordingly. Once you have the file chosen, you upload it. The view will pop up here, and I generally go to the outside of my paths to start with and I click import. Once my view has been imported and I can see all of my drawing layouts, I can then change my paths on these to be inside or outside cuts. I can change my bits. I can do whatever I need to do. Once I have this, all those adjustments made, then I go to machine, I go to advanced, generate G code. I can export my G code. I will take that same G code and I will load it into that same file that I had earlier. Once I have that file exported, I open up my Makerverse. In Makerverse, then I would go ahead and open my ports, start that, unlock, upload my G code. Once my G code has been uploaded, I then have my model baked into here with all the paths and the forms I've designed. That's it. Thanks for watching.